Hello everybody, hope you're well. Just thought I'd give you uh, an update on what's been going on in school this week. Uh, not that much really, we've had between 6 and 16 children in, so not very many consider, considering we normally have 660. It's a very different uh, world in school at the moment. Uh, but the children have been in, behaving well, having fun, enjoying themselves, doing lots of learning. I hear they made pizza today, which I'm sure was delicious. Um, thank you to the staff who've been in with them this week. We've had Mrs Pumphrey, um, Mrs Kershaw, Miss Hurras, Mrs Bas Basham and Mrs Kulkarni. So they've been working uh, very hard. Teachers at home have also, I know, been working very hard. They've put lots of work on the school website for you to have a go at. Um, I'm sure parents have been working very hard too. Uh, hopefully now you might understand some of the challenges of teaching. Teaching at home and teaching in school are two very different things, obviously, and learning is the same, uh, different in the same way. So it is a very different world. We don't expect you children or parents to do absolutely everything that we put on the website. Uh, we've made sure we put more than enough um, learning challenges on there for you to have a go at. We don't want you to run out, but don't feel that you have to complete everything. Um, go a little bit easy on yourselves, children and parents. This is a strange time and we're all still getting used to this slightly different world that we live in and it's um, a new challenge um, having school at home really. So thank you for all the work that you're sending in children and thank you for parents for all the support you're giving them. Uh, but don't overdo it, don't let it become a real chore, um, a real pain. Take lots of breaks, have lots of relaxation time, do lots of fun things as well as lots of fun learning. Um, the one thing I would say you need to do is share books regularly. Um, read books to yourselves, read books to each other, talk about the books you're reading. It's so important and it really helps the children develop as learners if they can really become fluent readers and they can talk about the things that they've read. So that's one thing I wanted to mention. But as I say, don't feel you have to complete everything that's on the website. There have been lots of other new uh, resources made available. We've tried to point you in their direction. There's lots of Oak National Academy lessons. They're pretty good, the ones I've seen. Uh, and there's lots of BBC Bite Size and BBC TV programmes, which are educational. So do have a look at those as well. <coughs> you might find that they're... Uh, you know, the, you know, the children might be a bit more enthusiastic about those things on some days. I would suggest a mixture of those things, really. But as I say, don't overdo it. Just do what you can, and we appreciate everything that you're doing. It, it's uh, really good, and it's lovely to see your work being sent in. Uh, in the same way, you don't need to send in every single piece of work you've done. Um, I think the teachers are especially interested in the writing that the children are doing. Uh, it's lovely to see some of the artwork and to see what they're up to in maths. But if you were going to prioritise anything, I would suggest it was the writing to send in, the reading to do at home. Have a go whatever you like, but as I say, don't let it become a real trial for you. Learning is supposed to be fun at home and in school. Um, and we do certainly give the children lots of breaks in school, so I suggest you do the same at home. Just enjoy being together as well. Um, it's, it's a very strange world and who knows quite how long it's going to go on for and, and whether we'll ever get this sort of time at home again. So in some ways, I'd say make the most of it. See if you can find the positives in it. Just enjoy being together. Um, <coughs> I've been fairly busy this week as well. One of the things I've had to deal with is um, trying to sort out the orders for free school meal vouchers for the children who qualify for free school meals. I put the orders in, um, but I think the system which they're using is an online system is a little bit overloaded. Uh, there's been things in the news about that. So every voucher has been ordered. Some of them haven't reached parents yet. I would say to parents, probably just be patient if you haven't received them yet and you know that you're entitled to them. Um, uh, but if you do get frustrated, then email the school office. I can go back on to the online system. Um, and what I've done for a couple of parents is cancelled the vouchers already ordered and reordered them. And that seems to have helped a little bit. But at the moment, I would just be aware that there are a lot of delays in that system. Um, there is another set of free school meal vouchers due to go out on Monday. Um, so they could come out on Tuesday. I don't know, sometime early next week. Um, other things I want to talk about. I think that's probably most of the things I wanted to say. Um, really, I really wanted to say thank you very much for all the work that you're doing. I do hope you enjoy having the phone calls from the teachers. If you haven't had a call yet from your child's class teacher, or your teacher children, um, then you will do over the probably the next week or the week after. Um, when I've, The feedback I've had from the teachers has been really, has been really positive. Um, they've certainly said it's cheered them up and it's been lovely to find out what the children have been doing. Uh, it's quite reassuring to know that some of the children we hadn't had any work from are actually doing quite a lot of work at home as well. So I think everybody's having a go at doing some learning things, which is the important thing, really. Parents, if you're working alongside your child and seeing them and seeing them succeed or helping them overcome any difficulties, that's great. Um, but any queries at all, email into your year, your email address, your year group email address. 
um, and the year group leaders will pass on any work or any questions to specific teachers. Um, any more general inquiries about school and things like the free school meal vouchers, then email into the school office, Hamilton1 at bucksgfl.org.uk, uh, and I'll have a look at those and try and respond to them as quickly as I can. Um, I think that's pretty much it, really. Um, as I say, I hope you're enjoying having that time at home. I uh, hope you're all staying safe and looking after each other. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. I don't know quite when we're going to come back. I don't know whether it will be <clears throat> the beginning of June or earlier. Or I don't know. I haven't got a clue, honestly. They don't tell me anything. I hear the same way that you do via the national news. And we don't know how we're going to come back either. I don't know if it's going to be everybody back together, which I doubt, or particular year groups with you know limited numbers within each year group staggered over the week i don't know when we when i find out anything i will let you know as soon as we've got our plan in place so we won't leave much of a delay on that we've thought through various options but until we hear them from the government then there's not much more we can do so i think that's it stay safe look after yourselves and fingers crossed we'll see you soon take care everyone